Now we're going to factor by grouping a four-term polynomial that has multiple numbers and letters. And I'm going to show you a trick of how you can avoid having to change the sign in the middle. Because notice, if we leave this four-term polynomial the way it is, you will have a minus sign in the middle, which means you'll have to change the second sign, which we definitely don't want. So, watch this. Notice that your first sign here is a plus sign. What if I were to reverse the two terms, the two middle terms, so that I have 28r squared minus 4 xr plus 21ry minus 3xy. Now I have a plus sign in the middle, which means I don't have to worry about changing signs. This won't work if you have, if both of the middle signs are negative but it does work when only one of them is. Okay, now I'm going to factor the first two terms, that is, I'm going to group them, and I'm going to group the second two terms. And now I do not have to change this sign because this sign is a plus sign. I'm going to factor by grouping. Don't forget that 28 is 4 times 7. r squared is r times r. And so each of these terms in the first set of terms has a 4 and an r in it. I'm going to pull out the 4r as a GCF, and that will leave me with 7r minus x, because 4r times x is 4xr. I would have said 4rx. All right, now I'll copy the plus sign down, and I will proceed to factor the second set of parentheses, the terms in the second set of parentheses by GCF. And here, remember that 21 is 7 times 3. So each of the terms in the second set of parentheses contains a 3 and a y. So I'll pull out 3y as the greatest common factor, and that will leave me with 7r minus x. And you can always double check yourself at this point by distributing in your head, distributing 4r times 7x is 28r squared, and 4r times x is 4, 4xr. 3y times 7r is 21ry, and 3y times x is 3xy. All right, that's correct. That's what I started with. Now, notice that on this side of the expression and this side of the expression, I have 7r minus x. That becomes my GCF. And then... I, I make a second set of parentheses and I write the leftovers. 4r plus 3y. And I leave it up to you to check this because I have run out of room and out of time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.